How to identify skunks in your garden often, the best way to identify skunks is, unfortunately, by their odor. Hopefully you don't have to deal with the skunk spray in your garden, but you'll know for sure that you have a skunk as soon as they decide to spray. The typical striped skunk has prominent white stripes running down its back and black fur on the rest of its body. It is the size of a house cat and is the most abundant species of skunk in the United States. Spotted skunks are smaller and have white spots as well as broken white strikes amid their black fur. Skunks have short legs and proportionately large feet with well-developed claws that are perfect for digging. Tracks can be helpful in identifying skunks. Skunks are often mistaken for raccoons because they both have five toes. Sometimes, the fifth toe is hard to see in skunk tracks. Their heels usually are not part of the tracks, and their claw marks are usually somewhat visible. Skunk droppings also often contain undigested insect parts. Skunk tracks These tracks from a striped skunk could help you identify the skunk in your garden. Photo Credit, Ohio Department of Natural Resources Signs of skunk damage If your lawn or flower bed has lots of holes in it, you may have a skunk problem. Skunks dig up the turf looking for grubs. They move around at night and dig in grassy areas, making distinct three to four inch deep holes. Skunk activity increases in the spring and then lessens naturally, so any problems may stop all on their own. Skunks sometimes feed on corn, but they tend to only eat the lower ears that they can reach. If a corn stalk has been toppled over, the culprit is more likely a raccoon. Planting taller varieties of corn can minimize this damage. Of course, skunk spray is a common sign of damage. If your dog smells foul, you probably have a skunk. Control and prevention how to keep skunks away spray a mixture of castor oil and dishwashing detergent diluted in water. Skunks find the smell offensive. Spray the area at night when the skunk is away foraging. Probably the best skunk repellent is a light. Skunks are nocturnal, and their eyes are very light-sensitive. A bright light or a motion sensor floodlight will scare skunks away. Most animals, including skunks, dislike the smell of citrus fruits. Place orange or lemon peels around the yard as a natural skunk repellent. Predator urine can be used to repel a skunk. These are commercially sold in garden centers. Many readers have found success placing ammonia-soaked rags around the yard. However, these need to be replaced often. If the skunks are in a smaller garden patch, put bars of strong, smelling soap or a room deodorizer near your garden. Ironically, skunks hate strong scents. If nothing works, there are humane ways for professionals to trap raccoons and skunks and transport them elsewhere. Often, skunk removal by trapping is the only answer and there just isn't a lot you can do if it is a skunk. However, be aware that many species of wildlife do not survive when placed in a new territory, and it may not even be legal to trap and relocate wild animals in your area. Striped Skunks Photo Credit Tom Friedel Birdphotos.com How to Prevent Skunks As skunks love to find lots of grubs in your garden, one of the best preventative methods is to treat your lawn so that you get rid of their favorite snacks. Spray your lawn with milky spore disease or beneficial nematodes. This will also help to control Japanese beetle larvae, so it's a win-win. Contact your local cooperative extension service for suggestions. Fencing may also be a good idea for small areas, such as a garden patch. If you don't want skunks living under your deck or shed, seal these areas with chicken wire. Leave at least one foot of additional wire on the ground extending from the structure to prevent skunks from digging under to enter. What to do if you get sprayed by a skunk? Oh no. We can all smell a skunk from miles away, but it's truly awful to have that smell on you. Clothes can be washed, but the smell may linger on skin and fur. If you or your pet gets sprayed by a skunk, try the following. Make a mixture of 1 quart 3% hydrogen peroxide, 1 4 cup of baking soda, and one to two teaspoons of liquid dish soap. Using the solution, shampoo only the area sprayed by the skunk. Wet the area and work the solution into the skin or fur with your hands. Leave it for about five minutes or until the fizzing stops. Rinse thoroughly with water. If the smell is still present, repeat the process. Air dry or towel dry. Do not use a hair dryer, as heat can cause any remaining skunk scent to set into the fur or skin. 
This remedy may dry out the skin, so use a good quality creme rinse to replenish moisture once the skunk smell is gone.